What's going on? Big A, the Manky Geek, coming at you with another video. And Marvel have been doing a countdown recently for something Spider-Man related. We got a number four, three, two, and a one, all webbed up, so we knew it was Spider-Man. We didn't know what was coming. There were certain theories about the place as to what was coming. Nobody really knew. And then yesterday, they revealed that J.J. Abrams and his son Henry are releasing a Spider-Man miniseries which is great news for them but I don't really know why the rest of anyone who buys comics should really care. I mean don't get me wrong I like some J.J. Abrams projects like I like Alias um, I'm a fan of like some of the stuff that Big Robot does so like the Cloverfield movies apart from that one that was on Netflix and stuff like that I like the Kelvin Timeline Star Trek movies as well not into darkness so much but the first one and the third one which he didn't actually direct the third one but still I like some of his stuff I like The Force Awakens I know it's a remix of A New Hope but like I quite enjoy it so I have no hate against J.J. Abrams but it's, it's just it, it was supposed to be a big announcement but we've had directors movie makers filmmakers make comics before it's not not anything special and really to be honest I'd be more pumped if there was an announcement of uh, Comic Pro coming on board who was really good and everyone loved and everyone just wanted to see that individual do like a massive project that would kind of redefine Marvel that something like that would be great but this was I was just kind of like it's not going to bring in the people who say are fans of JJ's work who are more on the cinephile side of things. It's not gonna encourage them to buy comics. It's definitely not gonna encourage normies to buy comics. Most normies don't even know as to who directs or produces the movies. They just know the stars that are in the movies. They don't even know when the films are coming out. I know, like, cause I'm weird. Two years in advance, I normally know as to what films I'll be seeing two years down the line in the future, innit? They go on a mental list in my mind. So I have no idea as to who was really supposed to be hyped up for it. Seeing some of the responses, people aren't really feel let down. They feel let down. I don't feel like they've it was worth all the hype or anything like that. Me personally, the only thing that I'm looking forward to on the project is Sarah Pacelli. I like her art. Glad to see some more of her art. Happy with that. But overall, it's kind of a bad look. And it also looks a little bit like nepotism, just because, you know, they're getting JJ and his son to work on Spider-Man, that's, that's a big character. As far as I know, Henry Abrams hasn't written any comics so far, unless I'm wrong on that. And if I am, someone please correct me. But yeah, if he's not written anything, and he's been giving Spider-Man as his first gig. You know what I mean? Dad had to pull some strings for that one, because I don't see that happening for anyone else. And it's just, it was just a weird announcement, innit? It? it was just weird. But, you know, more power to them. I hope it goes great for them. I don't know what else will come of this from those two. I mean, I, I have no idea as to whether they'll do more projects together and whatnot. But I don't know. It was just, it was just a weird, weird way to announce They could have just announced it like normal and just had a video come up. They didn't have to do a countdown because that, that got people really excited and it just turned out there wasn't much to get that excited about. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of the Spider-Man announcement for the miniseries by JJ and Henry Abrams. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. In fact, actually, don't hit the bell notification. You might want to follow me on notify.me because what that website does is actually send you a notification to your device whenever I upload a video. So it's actually better than waiting for the YouTube notifications. But anyway, yeah, go, go to that. I'll leave the link in the description. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.